Hello there, welcome back to Crafters TV. It is Super Sunday, uh, and I'm back with you for four whole days. And I could not be more excited because we're going to kick it off with the softer side of life. Here's your weekly opportunity, your destination show for all things needlecraft. Now, it is freebie frenzy. That means there's going to be freebies galore across all the shows up until the end of Wednesday, which is excellent. Something else that's excellent is that I am not here on my own. The lovely Bernie is here rocking the new do. How are you, Bernie? Hey, it's your... I know, look at this. It's gone. It's so short. I went in, I said I want it quite short, but I still want to tie it up, and then this happened, so... I do love it, but I'm getting... It's taken a bit of getting used to, so... Well, I think you look absolutely <laughs> uh, gorgeous, Bernie. There is loads of stuff coming up for you in this show. I've got to give you a... Uh -huh. Warning, though. Right... Uh -huh. Warning, right at the, shall I, shall I tell them about this? I, right at the top. It is, of course, uh, the snap fast. Are we going to tell them about this? Yeah, okay. Uh, this one just here. If you want to get your hands on this, it's limited stock. It's gone green. The stock will soon be not be seen. Is that what, what they say? Uh, anyway, 49.98 or 55.90. If you want... When it's green on the screen, the stock is lean. There we are. Uh, so this is amazing. Bernie's going to tell us all about this. It's the screw punch uh, with the snap tool kit. 339 elements. There are less than 100 of these to go. Uh, they're just arguing amongst themselves in the gallery as to what the actual correct saying is. It's not distracting at all, don't we? Uh, 49.98 or 55.90 if you want to get your uh, hands on that. You buy the two snap kits and you're getting the screw punch tool for free. Now, if you've already got this and you want to stock up on the, um, the uh, extra refills, then we've got the 10 mil, 12 mil, 15 mil and the 17 mil. They're all available. Go and check the website for those. We are going to kick off with, though, some awesome multimedia bag dies. Now, if you want to make gorgeous bags, uh, these are so functional, but you can make them so pretty as well using your favorite fabrics, whatever kind of fabric you like. We've got some different options for you. So this one just here is the reversible pocket tote bag, and it makes this gorgeous little number. Now, because of course it's metal dies, what it means is all of that cutting is going to be done precisely for you. Might be a nice little book bag, this I'm thinking, something along those kind of lines, uh, or a little shopper as well. Uh, then what we've got here is your reversible savvy shopper bag, which is brilliant. Now, I love this because what you've got is you've got the handles on here as uh, built in, as well as the straps too, which is fantastic. It's really pretty. Lots of different options for you as well. You can really customize these when you put them together and then finally we've also got the vintage clutch bag now I love a clutch I think they are so stylish if you want to have it as a clutch you can this one here obviously has had the handles popped on and that's a brilliant thing about making things of your own completely customizable you do you which is what I love to say now if you want to get in touch with me you can do so in all the usual ways crafters TV if you are across on Facebook crafters companion if you're over on YouTube Let's have a little chat. I mean, I've been away for four days. It's been a very busy time. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about, more about my time as we go through the show. You can let me know. What did I miss out on? Tell me what's going on in your world. Uh, do let me know. And also, if you've got any questions about anything in the show, uh, or maybe any other stitching, stitching... Mm, scenarios. I don't feel scenario... Yeah, okay, nice, Adam. We'll go with that. Let me know. And I'll get those questions over to Bernie as well. Full disclosure... I'm in a bit of a strange mood, so who knows uh, where today is going to go. Adam's in a bit of a strange mood. Johnny's in, uh, Johnny's just Johnny. Uh, so Bernie, uh, best <laughs> of luck, but uh, where should we start? <laughs> I think I need all the luck in the world, don't I? <laughs> yeah, we've got all the boys in the house today and me. But Debbie's in later on, so she'll sort you out if she I don't She'll keep us it. in order, she will indeed. <laughs> she will, definitely. But yeah, we're starting off with these bag dyes. Awesome. Jokes. I love, I mean, well, who doesn't love a bag? Absolutely. You can never have too many. The thing is, as well, I went to change my handbag this morning. I had that much stuff in my other one. I give up because it just, you'd get more and more in and more and more. And there are masks I've got in. I need something to put my masks in as well. So, But I'm making something later on that might actually do that. Oh. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we do the vintage clutch bag. Now, with our bag dies, if you haven't had our bag dies before, what you're going to get in the package is you're going to get all of the dies that you need to cut it. 
and you're also going to get full instructions now i love our instructions they're absolutely great because we tell you what you need so how much fabric if you use an interface and wadding um, obviously you're going to need a die cutting machine these are uh, multimedia dies so any die cutting machine that they'll go through obviously we um, use the gemini if you need any buttons any hardware we've got hardware on the show as well absolutely perfect and then it gives you a sort of a map if you like of what the pieces are and then my favorite part is pictorial step by steps all the way through so you're Excellent. not going to get stuck if you do get stuck there's also videos online so you can go on to our crafters companion youtube page the link will be on the product page as well on the website and that'll give you the videos um i actually did these ones i think i did yeah i did i did these ones so you can go on and watch me again to your heart's content pause it if you get stuck and if you don't you still get stuck you've got customer services you've got all our social media um, platforms as well so you you're never ever going to have any problems there was a lady message me last week she had a problem with um it was the lunch on the go pattern pack that we had mm -hmm. and she wasn't quite sure what to do so i sent her i thought i think i realized what she meant i sent her a message back and she came back to me thanked me great she she then understood what she needed to do so you know we always there night or day Brilliant. Sandwich, we are always about. We, we are about. always about. Do you know what I'd love to know? I mean, maybe it's something we shouldn't talk about in the comments today. How many handbags do you own at home? Let me know in the comments. Um, oh, yeah. The other thing, a concept that I didn't quite understand, Bernie, bags in bags. Sarah's got like three or four bags in a handbag, and then you've got a bag in a bag. Yeah, but well, you can. You can make like an um, inside for your bag so that then everything's in there. And then when you go to another handbag, you're just going to lift that bag up and pop that one in your other handbag. So you don't have to empty it all out like I need to do on mine, which is shocking. Honestly, I've got so much stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I'm going to use on here that we have got, if we've still got any in stock on the show, is the fusible fleece. Okie doke. So normally I tend to use wadding it's a lot. Sold out. Sold out. It's got oh. to be quick today. Honestly, oh. uh, those screw punch snap toolkits, they're <laughs> going to go as well. Less than 50 of those now. Um, and yes, it has gone already. It's a very busy show. Have you been promoting this again on social media? I know what you're like. All your ladies. Yeah, I did okay. put a little cheeky post up on Friday to let right. everyone. But I don't like anyone to miss out. But yeah, so, well, I'll just quickly explain the fusible fleece, just very quickly for those people who've ordered it. Well done. And what it is, it's, it's the fleecy on one side. It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a polyester wadding, it feels like. On the other side, there's little dots of glue. And all you do is put it on the back of your fabric, iron it. The instructions are on the side when you buy the um, fleece. And I think it's about eight seconds or something like that. You're going to press your iron on, heat it on, and then that sticks to it. So alternatively, you can use your wadding with our stick and spray um, or you can do it with four leather I mean we've got bags out of four leather where you don't need any actual um, sort of thickener if you like you know you don't need it so or cork they look great in cork have I got any samples in cork no but look at this one Joe I've got this one which is in needle cord I absolutely adore That's this one beautiful gorgeous isn't it this is the one on the packaging it's absolutely beautiful and it's so soft as well. Mm. You know, oh, can you imagine making one in a velvet? Beautiful. So any materials, our dyes will obviously cut through them. So I'll just grab my plates. Uh, Colleen, who is our social media superstar, she's kicked us off. She has about 25 handbags. And her favourite ones, uh, she would have more Radley ones, she said, if she still lived in the UK. Ah, mm. I, don't, I don't even want to start adding them up. Our shoes. <laughs> if you had to put a ballpark on it, Bernie? Uh, probably about the same. <laughs> about the same. Okay, Johnny? Have a lot. Johnny loves a man bag. We've seen, we've seen uh, Johnny's pictures from Fuengarola uh, with him rocking a man bag. We've seen, <laughs> all seen those. He loves a little crossbody number, don't you, Johnny? Adam, Adam, are you about the bags? Two, uh, two what, bag Adam's packs. got two. Uh, well, it's still, he's still got some. He's got a massive backpack, apparently, Adam. Uh, I've probably got about four. <gasps> I've got one in the car. Do you know what? Maybe I should get... Uh, I'll, maybe I'll show it to you before the end of the show. I'll show it you, actually, when I'm up with uh, Debbie later. It's like mirror car. It's like mirrored... You know, like mirror... Mirror... Mirror card. Like rainbow mirror card. Oh. But it's a backpack. Yeah, Ooh. it's excellent, Bernie. I'll show it to Ooh, you. Oh, yes. 
we'll have to see that right so what i'm doing here is i've got that fabric that i put the fusible fleece on the back i've already pressed it so i'm going to cut this in one go you can cut them separately but i like to attach it on and the the dies if we look at the bag you can see that it's a half it's a half shape so what that means is that we can get these to fit on our um, large gemini platform and it's not going to be tiny. If we made the full one to fit the plate, it's not going to be very big. Okay, Doug. And you need plenty of room in your bag to get all your bits in. And then I've got the same for the top part. So there's two sections to the bag. So I'm just going to pop that one on there. And you can see that I can comfortably get these on the one. Now, I've already cut the pieces for the lining and the other side. So I'm going to show you how you put one side of it together and then we can construct it because obviously we don't have we don't have enough time George do we I'd, I'd just stay here all afternoon me I'd yeah. happily so all afternoon absolutely <laughs> so is it fair to say that we can pretty much use anything we can stitch to make these yes Bernie? definitely okay definitely yeah so I've got my clear plate I've got my I'm using the new plate so I'm using the A plate then you've got the B plate and then the other clear plate. If you're using the plates from the um, box that comes with your Gemini, it's clear plate, fabric, die facing down into the fabric. Oh no, sorry, metal. Start again. Start again. Clear plate, metal shim. Then your fabric, then your die facing into your fabric, then your plastic shim, then your other clear plate. Awesome. So there you go, right. So I'm just passing that through. I've got the rotating mat here for the... Oh, you've gone fancy. Look at it. Ooh. Oh, I thought, I thought, oh, I like, uh, like that. So we can see that we've gone through two layers of fabric and two layers of fusible fleece. Absolutely no problem at all. Oh, I've got a little bit there that's caught. Just got to snip that. Oh, that one. Brilliant. Because I guess if you're at, especially if you're new to sewing, Bernie, if you're having to measure these out, uh, trace around them, then cut them with a rotary cutter. I mean, there, there's lots of curves and angles, isn't there here? So uh, does that, I mean, is it fair to say that there's a lot of, they're going to be tricky cuts, these? They are, yes. And to get them even as well. So if you've got this piece here and you want the same curve on both sides, to get those equal, you know, you've, you're going to have to be exact. And if you're not... Um, confident with the rotary cutter as well or with i'm not a very good cutter with scissors to be honest right. to cut them to, to match so you know it's these take all that we've thought about it takes it all out and i'm using joe this fabric that we've got as well and i know this is not until save a stitch later but i wanted to use it okay, because okay. i just think it's fantastic the someday fabric and this is the pink sprinkle so if there's two sections to the bag now if you want you can do it the same so on this one We've done the same fabric, but what you can do is change it so you've got a contrast. And then what I'm going to do is just pop them together and I'm just going to stitch a quarter of an inch down there on the machine. Now, I've just got my normal foot on. Um, you can use a walking foot, but um, it's not a big piece of sewing that you're doing, so it, it shouldn't be too bad. But if you find that your feet's sticking as you're stitching, then try a walking foot, because we have got two layers of the um, fleece and two layers of fabric. Excellent. So I'm just um, going to whistle Don't there. forget as well, yes, as Bernie mentioned, Save the Stitch Deals coming up a little bit later in the show uh, today. You can see them all now in the shop, the show uh, um, button over on the website. And make sure you can have a look at the Freebie Frenzy category over on the website. Type Freebie Frenzy in, uh, you'll see all the Freebie Frenzy deals that are running all week, which is fantastic. Right, oh, I've dropped a bit on the floor. And then here, I've done the other side here, so I've done that one exactly the same. And then you can see here, that I've just top stitched along there just for an extra little bit of detail. I like a bit of top stitching, Joe. Mm -hmm. I think it just sets something off nicely. Top stitching, then, for anyone that's not familiar with sewing, Bernie, what does that refer so, to? What makes that different to normal stitching? So, what it means is you're going to use a bit of a longer stitch. So, I have up mine two, three. Right. And it's, it's dual purpose for this one because I want it to hold the seam down behind. And also, it just gives it a nicer a nicer look like a more professional finish okay that you've got that top stitching so often um when you're doing like the the flap for the bag as well which you'll see when i've done that i've top stitched all the way around the end of that as well i just think it gives it that little bit extra um just a finishing touch yeah and i say just use a longer stitch 
you don't want a little tiny stitch. There we go. So there we How go. How do you so determine I've... your sort of go-to stitch length then? Is, it, is there a default setting on most machines? Though? Yeah, so when you switch your machine on, normally it'll be anything about, um, if it's a computerised machine, it'll be normally anything between a 2.3 millimetre or a 2.5 millimetre. Our machine here, I think, is... I'm going to switch it off and back on. <laughs> And it'll automatically be set 2.5. Okay. I've got a machine at home that sets a 2.3. So that's your average one. When you're doing patchwork and you're piecing patchwork together, you want to be on, you want to lower it to two millimetres because you want that gap to be quite small. But when you're sewing through thicker layers or you're doing top stitching like this, you just want that longer stitch just so it looks nicer. You don't want it looking like the, the stitches are eaten into your fabric, if you okay. like. So you just have it that length. So, and I say, if you go through thicker fabrics as well, you just, you need to have that longer stitch. So, and just have a bit of practice. Just have a little Absolutely. bit of play. Yeah. Sammy Shopper is your favourite out of these uh, three at the moment. A lot of you are going for all three of them, though, I hear. Of course, remember, you can use your Club Inspired discount on these as well. Club Inspired Platinum members, you'd get, what, about $6.40 in the US off of these. Uh, off of this particular one, you'd get uh, about uh, an extra, uh, all Ooh, testing me with the maths today, £4.80 off of these in the UK. So everyone's got that great saving already, which is brilliant. Uh, and remember, all the freebie frenzy items that I'm going to be showing you later as we go through the show as well. We've got lots, haven't we, on the we show, the indeed. freebie frenzies. Right, I'm just going to get my clips out because I don't go anywhere without my clips. Now, I've done the um, bag flap here as well. And all I did with that is the die. If I get the die just quickly so you can see. Again, the die is a half shape so you cut your fabric on the fold on with your two i've got my bike or a moped once bicycle one on that side and that pink dash on the other and then i've turned it through and i say i've just done that top stitching all the way around there and it just finishes it off doesn't it just gives it that little bit extra so what we want to do is now start constructing the bag so this one is is really quite quick it doesn't take too much once you get into it so if you think about how your bag's going to go this is you're going to put right sides together for you out of your bag but i want to make sure that my my flaps in there but when i open my bag i want it to be like that so i want the pink sprinkle on the outside so when you're stitching together this is going to be the outside of the bag see this is a bit that always confuses me because you'd think you would want your flap on the outside when you stitch wouldn't you yes yeah, so if i move that one away i've put now right sides together if you like or outsides together if you think of it that way, outsides together. Okay. So when, then when this one turns over, when it's constructed... That's the outside. That's the right way, yeah. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to centre that just by eye. You can measure if you need to, if you're not sure. It's about half an inch either way. And I'm just going to base this in place along the top to hold it in place. Now, this is um, an even longer stitch. So go to the longest stitch that your machine will do. On ours here is a four and a half and all i'm going to do is sew really close to the end just to like to tack it in place to hold it in place and i'm moving my needle over just so it's quite close to the end and i'm just going to go along there quite close to the edge so i say it's just to hold it in place before we stitch it together shortly and then i'm going to move on to the strap next and i've used um so we've got some hardware on the show. I love bag hardware. Again, it's something that lifts your project if you're putting bag hardware on. Now, where's my strap gone? So I've put that on there, ready to put together. Now, here's my handle. So I've only got, um, I don't want a big, massive, long handle. So I've done different fabric on each side. I'm guessing and you then, can play around with the length of the handle, can you, Bernie, depending on what you fancy? Oh, yes. I mean, this one here, we've got an extra long handle and we've got the slider on there. So you could make it, as long as you want to make it into a crossbody bag if you wanted nice. it to. Nice. Perfect for Johnny. Exactly. Exactly. But I thought, I'll just have a nice short one on here. And then I've got, these are the brass um, rectangle sliders here so i absolutely love those and then you get the little die as well in the pack to make your strap and your little tabs as well so you get everything in there you know so you don't have to worry and then all i've done is attach sewn them together again it gives you that um, detail in the instructions folded it over and just stitched it down to attach it to one end and then this is the tab that's going to go on the side of the back so if i show you 
on here. Oh, hang on, I want to sew them together first. This is the one I want to show you on. Here we go. So you can see on there that you've got a separate tab here, the hardware and then the strap. Awesome. So that's what I've got like that. So I've got everything ready now to start putting together. So I'm going to put my two outsides here. And like I say, don't worry that I know I'm going quite quickly through this. You have got those instructions in with all three and you've got the videos for all three as well. So because my pieces were cut with the die, I know that they're 100% accurate. They're going to line up. So I'm just going to pop a few clips in. There. Um, remember there are three for you as well to choose from here. So uh, this one is the clutch that uh, Bernie is using. Uh, you've also got the Savvy Shopper bag uh, and the pocket tote bag to choose from uh, as well. As Bernie said, full video tutorials available for these over on our website uh, and over on YouTube as well. So uh, make sure you go and check them out. Do we need to be, do we have to need to have a, a vast amount of sewing knowledge to put these together, Bernie, or are these a, a good project for a confident beginner, would you say? Definitely a confident beginner. Okay. So I would say not for your first ever, ever, ever sewing project, but I'm sure most of our uh, viewers will have had a little dabble um, already, but I would say a, definitely a confident beginner. And just when you're going around the corners here, if you've got that needle down function on your machine, use that. Okay. If you haven't, just go carefully, or gan canny, gan as I canny. normally say. Gan canny round the corners, and then you can just go foot to the floor, like, Ooh. well, you don't have to, but you know what I'm like. I go foot to the floor all the way around, and then when I get to this other corner, I'm just slowing again. Okay, now, look. if you go off a little bit, don't worry, because you can go back and just stitch over it to get it right. If you go too near the end, you don't need to unpick it if you go and be sewn like further in. And just when you get to the... Well, I did it at the start, and just as I get to the end here, I'm just going to do a little reverse stitch a couple of times just to secure that, because we don't want it coming apart. There we go. So... That's our outside of the bag now done. We've got all that together. So the next thing I've got is my lining. So with the lining, I've done exactly the same, but I've reversed the fabrics. So I've got the sprinkle on the bottom and the bicycle fabric on the top. But this time I've left a big gap in the bottom. Now I like to leave, leave quite a gap as much as I can because it does make it easier for turning through. And again, I've done a reverse stitch here just to secure it, saves your stitches coming, coming apart. All right, so I want to turn my outer part through. And this is where I'm going to clip the handles on to each side. And we can see now when we've turned that through, Joe, we've got that. Beautiful, that there isn't that's it? going the right way, yeah. I just think that two-tone just lifts it, doesn't it? Yeah, they really are beautiful, beautiful tones. Could be demo of the show, could be demo of the day. Ooh. Will it be well, demo of the week? Joe, I'm looking at that board there, and Debbie and what's, Debbie. What's, wow, what's this on, one over here? They're on five, aren't they? They're on five. Sarah's, oh, that's just Sarah doodling. That, oh. oh. Okay, that, that, I mean, the glitter. <laughs> right, so I'm now going to put these tabs in here. And what I've done is I've lined it up with this side seam. So you can see the side seam there. It just fits perfectly up to the bag flap. And again, what you need to think about is your outsides. So when you put it the way it's going to finish, all my seams of there are on the inside. So there Excellent. we go. And then uh, I'm going to clasp clip that. and those um, the D rings and all those kind of things. You'll find all of that, won't you, uh, on the website and in the show. Actually, there's a lot of accessories in the show. If you need to stick uh, to stock up even uh, on things like that, I would definitely check, um, as always with all of our shows. Click that shop the show button and have a look what's in the show. This one is full of accessories. Uh, so go and have a look. We have restocked on a lot of things that we've been out of stock of for a very long time. So craftcompanion.co.uk.com.eu uh, on the home screen you'll see this and then uh, click the shop the show button underneath and it will show you everything that we have available for you right now uh, Colleen our social media superstar wants to know can you use a snap tool on paper like a snap fastener on envelopes etc is it too strong you can you can yes. 
So as long if it's quite thick, um, if it's just a thin sheet of paper, it's not going to hold very well okay. because it's obviously it's a stronger fastener. But if you've got um, some card, mount board, we'll go yeah. through that. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Love that now, idea. I don't know if something's happened, Joe, but just to let you know <laughs> that I can't hear anyone in me here. So does that oh. mean I can get up to all sorts? <laughs> oh. Oh, you should hear what they're saying about oh, you. Oh, I can there, hear but... a little faint noise. I can hear oh, a, li a little noise. Okay, we'll sort that out so, after yeah, that demonstration. Just to let you know. Right, so what I've done there is I've attached the handle on and then I've just put the outer into the lining and just matched up those top bits. Again, because you've got those die cuts, this is going to fit perfectly. Many a time I'll make a bag and if I've cut it myself, um, and I've gone a little bit wonky, then when I try to do this bit, I'll sew all the way around and I'll find that I've got a, um, a gap and it hasn't caught because it hasn't lined up properly. But I say with the dies, you don't need to worry. Now, I've took the um, front tray off the machine and this is what's called the free arm. So if your machine takes that off, and what that does, it helps you sew around um, small openings there. So what I'm going to do there is pop that down. Again, use that needle down position and I'm just going to quickly stitch all the way around the top. Um, lots, of, lots of excitement about your class tomorrow. Jeanette Can Kenner she says, oh, Jo, I'm doing my first class with Bernie tomorrow night and I can't wait to meet her. Oh, yes, I'm That's so excited. Exciting. Hello, Jeanette. Yeah, I've got my classes starting tomorrow night, Jo. Awesome. Proper classes, what, yeah. Like face so to we, face. Face to face, oh, yeah. How so exciting. we um a community centre just round the corner here from the studio. Nice. Um yeah, and Jeanette's coming. And Irene, if Irene's watching, who lives in Newton Aircliffe, but she's a viewer as well. Um, yeah. she's coming, all my regular ladies are coming. I'm so excited. That's gonna be awesome, I've Michelle. Got cake and everything. Cake! <laughs> who bought the donuts in today? Was it? Oh, so there's Dunkin', oh. Dunkin' Donuts out there. Oh, it's going to be a hard task to stay away from those. <laughs> Michelle says, uh, Johnny will have mine, he says. That's fine, Johnny. Uh, Adam, Adam will eat them as well. Got, uh, you, I think they need to go from the prep table into the gallery before there's an accident. Uh, Michelle <laughs> says, I just love watching Bernie, no matter what, how much I know. Uh, she always manages to teach me something new. Bernie, are you looking for an assistant or an intern? I'd like to apply. Will airmail oh. work? <laughs> oh, there bless. I should let you know when I do. Right, so I've stitched all the way around there and what I did was, before I turned this through, I've just checked that I've caught my handles in. And okay. if you haven't or if you're a bit worried, just go around it again, just go over it again, just to secure with them. Because obviously if you think you're going to have quite a lot in your bag, you're going to, your handles need to be um, securely fixed on. And then I'm going to turn that through, Joe. And I know I need to stitch the um, hole up in the lining, but... If I turn that like that, let's get that on. And there we have Excellent. our finished bag. All it needs, Joe, is a snack fastener. So if we've still got some left in the next demo, I'll uh, I'll pop a snack fastener on that There's fasten it. Less so, yeah. than 25 of oh. uh, the uh, screw fastener. Let me just give it to you uh, one more time. Uh, the deal. Uh, I'll just quickly share it with you. Uh, if you are Club Inspired Platinum member, 39.98, 44.72. Uh, we do have more of you trying to uh, check that out. There's more of you with it in your basket than there's stock available. So, of the people that have got it in their baskets now. Uh, you need to check out because uh, people are going to be disappointed. There it is. Remember, it's our freebie frenzy. So you'll buy the two snap kits and get the screw punch tool uh, free of charge, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, we've got refills for you available on these two. Uh, would you like to see them? So you can go for the uh, 10 mil, which is this one just here. Uh, you get a variation of colours. So you've got like sort of brassy coppery ones and those silver ones in there as well. Uh, you've also got the 12 mil, which is this one just here. Uh, we've then got the 15 mil, which is that one there. And you've also got the 17 mil as well. 
It's up to you which you want to go for, but if you've been waiting for those to come back, they are the consumable elements. I would say, actually, uh, maybe popping a couple of extras of those in your basket, along with those of you that have got um, the screw fastener, would be awesome. Uh, Miss Lorene Schoolhouse says, life is better with a snap tool. I think it absolutely is. Uh, Lisa Turner says as well, I'm going to have to get some of the fabric. Well, I'm going to be sharing the fabric with you very, very soon. Lots of you already found it over on our website. Remember, it is Freebie Frenzy event. It will run all the way up until the end of Wednesday. Uh, so make sure uh, where you see uh, this logo here, bloop, bloop, uh, you will be getting free items included, which is absolutely brilliant. And on that screw punch, uh, it is actually uh, the thread of screw punch itself that you'll get included there, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, right, loads still to come uh, on the show. Bernie, uh, I know a lot of people have already gone for this, haven't they? So you're going to give us a little bit of a whiz around it. I'd say this is great for sewers, but just something that everyone should have in the house, really, like a pair of, you know, a pair of pliers or a screwdriver. It's an essential, isn't it? Definitely. There's so many different things you can use them on. I mean, the team of... Um done outstanding with these ones. I've got this lovely um, wrist pin cushion that we've got the snap on there. I love this one, look. This is a tea towel holder. And if I show the top of it here, so this you can put it over, so over door handle or over your oven door. Like I've got rails along my oven door that you could clip them on. That would stop Pip and Nick and my tea towels actually, if yeah, I put nice. them selected on there. And then for the back of a cushion, for the fastening on the back of a cushion as well, with a little purse here. You know, there's so many different uses. And the last one I've got here is um, a little uh, water bottle cosy, but you could do it like a mug cosy, like a mug cup nice. as well. So there's lots of different uses. But I'm gonna put one on our bag, Joe, and then I've got that bag finished. Let me get these out the way and just show you how easy they are to use. Um, just to bear with me um, with the noise, because I have got my hammer out. So I will be oh. hammering Joe. I'll be a little bit noisy. <laughs> so if I get my, oh now, hang on. I'll have to find my tool punch. Oh, now I did have it on my caddy. What, what could I you use if you didn't have a hammer, Bernie? Um, you definitely need the hammer to use the tools. Okie doke. Um, but, do you know what, Joe? I can't find me. I thought my screw punch thing was in my caddy. The tool that makes the hole. I haven't, I've, I haven't got it. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to give you mine? <laughs> Have you got one I can borrow? I've got, I've got, one, I've got this one here. Is I've this what you need? I've got my packaging. And this I bit? Thought, yeah. I need this. Okay. Please, can I borrow that? <laughs> she hasn't got it. I'm going to bring it over. I have got another one in the cupboard, so I'll, I'll swap to you over. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. There you much. are. How are Just. you looking forward to a hug tomorrow with friends and family, Bernie? It's a oh, national yes. hug day, isn't it? It I think is. We should, we should do, we should be, uh, we should be, no hugs for Adam. Oh, so Adam you shouldn't have said hugs. that, Adam. Now everyone's going to want a hug. <laughs> I said it, uh, on uh, Wednesday when I was here that, uh, yeah, I think, oh, no, it's, was it Tuesday? Uh, that I just think everyone should have a hug. Just the one off, just the one, just the one. Just a little one, Adam. Yeah, just a little just a, Like hug. a little one. <laughs> he's adamant, isn't he? Absolutely Adam, adamant. he's adamant. Get it. I've never felt so rejected, Bernie. You missed me joke there, Joe. Little oh, he's adamant. adamant. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe anyway. you could write us a little limerick about um, Adam's lack of uh, cuddling. I will. I'll write. So is that that's my mission for t tonight, tomorrow, uh, this afternoon? <laughs> Brilliant. For for tonight, after I've had my dinner, because Mum's ordering it in. So. Brilliant. Oh, what are you having? <laughs> um, probably pork. Oh, delicious and like um, when you get your tool don't lose it like me i haven't i haven't really lost it it's just in there so i couldn't find it keep the packaging because the packaging actually has got some little helpful tips till you get used to using the tool itself and what this is going to do is this is going to pop your hole through your um whatever you're going to um put the fasteners on and all you're going to have is have it upright like that i use an old coaster here just on the back and just have it vertical and it just goes down and then you can see there that it's popped that hole straight through okay you've got different sizes as well so you take the top off there you've got different sizes in there as well so different size holes for your different size um 
fastener awesome. that you want. You can actually use this as well with your, um, if you've got the plastic snap fastener tool. Oh, okay. So if you want to put the hole through for that as well, you can use it for that. If you want to put an extra hole in your belt, um, you know, any anything that you want that little sort of the hole in there. I think it's two mil, three mil and four mil, I think the sizes are, if I remember rightly. Yeah. So yeah, so if you want a different size hole, so yeah. Cool. And then you need a little hammer. I just, I got this from my local sort of Home, homeware sort of sh shop. Begins with, I was thinking what it rhymes with. Begins with W, but I can't think what it rhymes with. <laughs> Wilkinson's. That's the place, Brilliant. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of Johnny Wilkinson, but then I thought everyone might not know rugby, even it's, though I'm not uh, a rugby fan. It's a bit like a Target style store uh, for you guys in <laughs> yes. the US. Like a Home Depot sort of place, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to pop. This, this is the medium size one here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to get the pieces out that I want. Now, you need four pieces. And there is only four different types in here. So you're going to have your, um, so it's like your cap and stud. Okay, 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 so those two are going to get there and those two are going to go together. So let's get the top one. So on the top one here, I want this one because that's the pretty part that you're going to see. So this is the part that I want to put the hole in. So I'm going to take that over there like that. And then I'm going to put my screw punch. The other thing as well, if you see, there's a little tiny bit in there. You can unscrew this to change them and just take those um, little extra pieces out. And then pop them like that in there. And then I'm just, I've done it by eye, but you can mark it with your ruler if you want to. And then pop that like that. And then make sure it's vertical. And down there. You can do it a couple of times if you need to. And there we go. We can see there that we've got that hole marked in there. Brilliant. There we go. So I'm going to pop that in like that. Well, uh, um, Angela was asking, side. how do you know which hole sizes you need? So you, you can, I think, it, does it tell you on the packet? I think it tells you on the packet. If not, it may be on the product page, because I know Lizzie put together a little chart. I'm not sure if that's been put on the product page. If it isn't, what I'll do is I'll um, get hold of that and ask the team if they can pop that on. Okay, brilliant. Um, but I'll be honest... I've not changed this one. This is the one that came with it, and I've used this for all of them, and it works. So I've just sort of just used the one that's in there. Brilliant. Okay. Um, so yeah. So we can see there. I've put that. The other thing that you get in your um, box of tricks, if you like, in your toolkit, is this little dish. And what this little dish is is this: what you're going to put it on when you start hammering, so you don't damage your surface. So I'm going to. Oh, I nearly lost that bit. I'm going to pop that on there like that. Rest that over the dish there so we can just see that poking through there. Brilliant. And then rest that one on the top. Now it'll just rest and then you're going to go in here and get your tools. And again on the chart it does tell you which tools to use with which piece. Fantastic. So I want my little pointy one you're going to pop that in the center there make sure it's all lined up so give it a little turn like that like we used to do with the plastic um snap fasteners and then have that upright this is where i'm going to hammer just a few little taps and if you feel that it hasn't secured on then just check that you haven't aligned it and i think mine moved there joe when i okay let me try again right yeah i didn't even have it in the right place let me try it again. So you need to get it central, do you? Yeah, you hole? just need to get it central on there. And, and I say, if you it. have any problems, just have a little practice. You're getting plenty in there. Have a little practice there. It doesn't always happen first time, but you just take your time, don't you, Bernie? Exactly. There we go. And what it's doing is it's pressing that metal in there, and then that's now, you can see that that is now secure. So I just need to mark where I'm going to put the other one. Do you know what might be nice to have a snap fastening uh, on your on your face mask for your handbag or oh yes no snap fasteners on your I have no, not on your face Adam <laughs> Adam thought I meant put a snap fastener on your face and just clip your face mask to it that's not what I mean imagine clip clip 
Uh, I bet you could have a piercing that would allow you to do that. You never know. I I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's not go down that road, though. I am losing face masks like they're going out of fashion at the moment. I've got you a bad me, soldier. A very nice, pretty floral <laughs> one with the birds on. I had... I, went, I took it to the zoo. Do you anyone else find that they are um, accessorising their face masks for the situations that they find themselves in? So There's I a lot of choice the, now, isn't there? I went to the zoo the other day, so I wore a tropical face mask with like lots of birds on it. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was very fitting. Um, oh. Yeah. So what I've done here, Jo, is I've put my coaster inside of here. So that's why I like to use a little um, piece that I'm mm -hmm. pressing on, because it'll go into your smaller projects. And then I've got that all lined up there and I've marked on there where my other side's going to be. Now, I could hear someone for a while, but I can't anymore, Joe, so I'm just going to get up to mischief. Oh, <laughs> um, Don't know what's happened. Now. Uh, there we go. So I've gone through there and I've popped the other hole in there. Wonderful. And then what I would say is there's less than 10 of less than 10 the next 10 people that get this in the that check out with this in their basket will get this um bernie oh, after that it will be gone we'll work hard to get it back in stock it can take a little while though i think the plates aren't they are a prime example of that yes if you want it then uh check it out now is what i'd say all the replacement elements on there would you suggest people add them in as well when they get it for the first time those at those um all those other clasps Bernie? definitely yeah definitely because then you've got your stock there you're getting you're getting this one with the toolkit which is what you need and then you're getting that um refill pack as well so i've got that one lined up and again i've put that little metal dish underneath and then i'm going to get the other tool and on the other tool there's like a concave part on that side okay and it fits nicely over the top and if you're not sure just try each one and you'll feel that one will fit better than the others so again pop that over there and then just carefully with the hammer it depends how heavy your hammer of how many you need i like to give it a good hammer there to get that on that's perfect take that out and now my bag it's complete. Your flap is secured. How awesome There we is go. That? We're all secure. Where I'm sorted. There we go. Done. Oh, how easy. Imagine all the different things that you're going to be able to put those onto. Uh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm actually seeing um, maybe on, uh, you know, toys and things. I think you could even, you know, teddy bears could have fasteners on them. You know, could put little accessories on them and things. I think there's loads of different ways you can use it. You definitely don't have to be a sewer or a sewist. Uh, in order to use them. What you do have to be, though, is incredibly quick because it is about to sell out. 49.98, 55.90 is great save, saving. Platinum members, you're looking at under 40 pounds, under 45 dollars, which is excellent. Uh, and remember, you're buying the two snap kits in there, uh, the brass and the silver, and you're getting the screw punch totally free of charge, which is awesome. Right, we're going to move on. Uh, we're gonna have a look next at the shape cutters, uh, which I know are one of Bernie's absolute favorites. Now, uh, in here, you are getting uh, the Dresden plate and also the orange peel as well. They should be 19.99 each. So it's just a, um, it's a little over a buy one get one half price. Uh, as platinum members in the UK, uh, you're paying six pounds for the extra one, really, which is absolutely brilliant value for money. They are going to enable you to create uh, very um, easily sort of some traditional quilting blocks. And as we know, the precision when it comes to the cutting out is what's going to give you the best chance of getting the best result when it comes to sewing your projects together, which is awesome. If you um, love and have seen something like the Shape Creator, uh, that's excellent. Uh, these are for those specific blocks. The other great thing about it as well is that you've got full instructions on the reverse of these, which Bernie will take us through uh, when we have a look at these later. Oh, got a great deal for you on uh, on the mat and the road to cutter. This is one of our freebie frenzy deals, which is awesome. You buy the mat uh, and then you get the rotary cutter totally free of charge, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, 23.99 or 23.96 for platinum members. It's four cents cheaper in the US than it is uh, in the UK. How awesome is that? Uh, now, the applique dies will be coming up later. Another freebie frenzy deal for you. You buy two, you get two free. Uh, you buy two, you get two free. Amazing value. Uh, and of course, you can use your Club Inspired discount on there as well. Now, Debbie's, ev um, Debbie, why do I do this every week, Bernie? I call you Debbie at least once, don't I, in the show? 
You well, did, we're not on air. I never call Bernie Debbie. I don't know what it is. I seem to just work with Bernies and Debbies though, at the moment, and then I call Debbie Bernie. You I'm called sorry. me Debbie last week. I didn't I even did. notice. I know, you didn't even notice. <laughs> um, and now I'm so thrown by the fact that I've got your name wrong, I can't remember what I was going to say to you. So, should we have a little look at the shape cutters? <laughs> Let's have a look at them. I'm surrounded by samples. The first ones I'm going to show you back here. Oh. Is these are the this is the orange peel. Beautiful. So we can see how you've got different designs on there. These are appliqued on. So this is your your regular orange peel shape. However, you can do different sizes with the shape cutters. Look at this. I absolutely. It's adorable, isn't it? I love this. the color combos. There. And they are they're tiny. The little tiny squares with them all appliqued on. I just think that is fantastic. And you can see how it's making circles mm. as well when you're putting them together. Very it, all Achilles, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's really fab. So, yeah, so that's the orange peel. But then the other one that we've got is the Dresden plate. The Dresden plate's the one I'm going to have a little play with today. Um, with the Dresden plate, if you, if you search that online, this is the one that's going to come up, this normal um, round design. So that's the traditional Dresden plate. Obviously, you can put um, whatever design you want in the centre. We actually give you um, the shape on the ruler or the shape cutter to make a circle as well. So I'm going to show Brilliant. you how you do that. So that's the traditional way. But then what you can do is start playing with the shapes. Look at this. This, I'm going to open it up as well. Oh, it's like a bit of an abstract one. Isn't like it a just? Horse. Look, if I move it along, you can see it's gone all the way. Oh, that's gone funny with them dots. <laughs> Moving a bit slower. But this is the same shape cutter. Right. But it's just using it in a different way okay. as well. But I'm going to show you how we do the traditional way. Awesome. Um, and how you actually use it. And what I'm also going to show you is one of our sprays that I really like to use which is the spray and stay. So if you haven't had this before, this puts a grip onto the back of your product and makes it um, grippy. So if you're prone to when you're cutting that your rulers slide, you can spray some of this on the back. I've actually got some on my mat under my overlocker at home because my overlocker at home doesn't have the suction feet on. Okay. So it moves, as you imagine how fast it goes, it moves across the table. So I made a little mat just with a bit of wadding, two layers of fabric, sprayed some of this onto the back. It doesn't move now. Brilliant. On my mat at the front door, sprayed it under there. It doesn't move. Oh, so it'll you know go. What if, will it, so can I spray it on the underside of my rug? Yeah. Because I have got a new rug, Bernie. Oh, oh my is word. It, it is, is it going across the living room. Death <laughs> trap. Yesterday I went to go to the sofa, I had my socks on, stood on it, both feet, boop, straight out of from underneath oh, me, no. down I went. <laughs> Just to get the whole rug move, boop, <laughs> down. But yeah, it is really good. Um, so I've just sprayed some lightly onto the back of there. And when you feel it, it doesn't feel sticky, but you can feel there's something there, on there. But if I just quickly get a piece of fabric... So if I just put my piece of fabric there, I'll put it upside down. So this is the side that I haven't sprayed. You can see how that's quite slippy. I'm yep. just moving that with one finger. That's quite slippy. Um, if I turn it the other way. Oh, nice. Finger, it's gone. It's moving it. So Brilliant. you can just see how that. And if you um, want to take it off, you just use our stick away. Okay, awesome. And just spray that on and it'll take it off. So if you do have a problem with rulers um, or anything moving um, for that, but like I say, other, other areas around the house as well. So to do the Dresden plate design, I've got some strips of fabric here. Now you can cut on the design. I'll see, let me see if you can see this through here. There we go. On the shape cutter itself, you've got your different sizes, one inch up to six inch. You've also got this part here, which is if you've got our shape creator, it's a similar concept to that where you fold your fabric up, cut round, and you'll cut a circle. And it'll give you a three inch circle. And then you've got also on here what says a straight line for a placement line, a dashed line. There's a quarter inch space there. So if you're wanting to cut a full blade, and these are referred to as blades when you cut these out, if you want to cut a full one, 
you'd fold it and place it on the placement line, which is what I'm going to do. If you just want to cut a half shape, to so see you were doing something abstract, you would place it on the dashed line and that would give you a quarter inch. So if you cut two of them and you stitch them together, you're going to get a full one and you're not going to lose any of that sizing <coughs> or angles for them to fit in. So let me get some mats. Right, so we've got numerous mats on the show. I love all of my mats. I've got the rotating mat here. If you've got the 28, um, the, not the 28, the A2 mat, you get the 28 mil rotary cutter in with it, which the A2 is absolutely perfect as well to use it. Or we've got our cut and starter kit on as well. So I've got the 28 mil um, rotary cutter here. Now, top tip from me is that if you are making these and you're going to fold your fabric in half, fold it right sides together because that then makes it easier to sew. So you'll see that shortly in the next part. Now, have I got there? I'll just move that along a bit so we can see. There we go. Right. So I'm going to put my position on here and I'm going to cut a four inch one. So I'm going to line up that placement line, black line on the fold of my fabric. Make sure your edge is straight. If it isn't, you can straighten it off. So I'll come in a bit so I can straighten it off. And what you've got here is grooves and that groove is where your rotary blade is going to go through. So I've got hold of it. It's not going anywhere because I've sprayed it. So if, if that gives you a little bit of peace of mind, your blade goes in there like that, you go up the side. Now, I'm just moving a little bit to the side. Again, I'm putting that blade in that groove like that, and I've stopped. I've, I'm not touching anything. I need to sew this little bit here. I can either move along or I can move my mat. And I'm just going to hold that back on there. So you're not moving the ruler, you're not moving the fabric. And then what happens is you're going to get your blade awesome and that's your blade to start making them and you'll go along similarly with it let me get the um other mat and just show you the other mat as well let's get the a2 i do like my a2 the good thing with the a2 as well you could it falls up to a3 size you can leave it a3 size if that's okay. all you're working on you don't need to necessarily open it out so let me just quickly cut another one again so again i'm just going to move it along Place it where I want it to be. Place the fold line on that black placement line. Up one end to say the blade just fits in there, along there. And then if that's a little bit awkward, you can just move your mat a little bit. And back Fantastic. up there. So you can cut all Quite those different Quite a simple straightforward shapes. process then really, Bernie, for this one. It is, it's really good. And these are really versatile. The orange peel is exactly the same format. So then what you're going to do is start stitching these together. And what you need to do is stitch this along the top here. Just along the top of there, a quarter of an inch. So that's why if you've already got it folded wrong, uh, right sides together, it makes it easier. If you haven't, and then you try to fold it that way, it might spring back because you've already got it folded that way. I'll just finger press that and then try and do it. You can see how now I've got a gap or a bend there so it sits flatter if you do it the other way so you're going to stitch some like that let me turn this one through that i've stitched there we go so you're going to stitch across the top of all of them and then just clip the end to help it turn through and then once you've turned it through you just have it laid flat like that get a nicer point than me my point is not very good and then when you turn it over you've got that is now your finished blade brilliant so if i bring that cushion back in and just lay that on and then I'll show you one that I've put yeah, there we go so you can see there how that would sit now I've done the four inch one here this one here looks like the five inch one because it's just underneath there so that would have been um, the fabric will be under there and the point will come out further so you can make them as long and short as you want okay so once you've got all your blades um, done and give them a nice press as well so they've all got nice points you're then going to start arranging them with how you want them in your design okay and you're going to have 20 so 20 of these will make that circle if you want to just do five and put it onto a square block you could because you can stitch them together that way. It's totally up to you how many you want to do. Debbie Robinson is in the 
Is How she? Funny. Whoop, Hi, whoop. Debbie. She's giving us a little whoop whoop from backstage. <laughs> So here we go. So we've got these two here and then what you're going to do is put them right sides together. And another top tip for me is when you're stitching these together, especially on the Dresdens, always start from this end. So this is your, um, your wider end, your pointy end. Always start from that end. Always reverse and secure your stitch, obviously a quarter of an inch because it's patchwork. And you're going to sew off. And then when you get to the bottom here, can you see how one of mine is just a little bit longer than the other? That's absolutely fine. It's just been where I've, my pressing's gone a little bit skew with, but, oh, if I bring the cushion back in, what you're going to do is you're going to cover the centre with okay. the circle or some other design. So you're not going to see those. So it's more important to get these bits lined up because they're the bits you're going to see. And then, as if by magic, Joe, I've got some here that I've been stitching together. I've used that some days there. Uh, that's some day's fabric. Now, I need to stitch. I need to put my blue one in. Where's my blue one gone? Right, I need to stitch this one in onto that side and then I need to stitch it to that side. So I'm going to quickly stitch that and then I'm going to give them a press and then this is ready to go onto the front of a cushion, onto a bag, um, anything really that you want to decorate it with. If you made... Um, numerous ones and put them got like one like a whole piece of fabric and then appliqued them onto that fabric to make a um quilt like a quilt top that would be absolutely fab so there we go so i'm just going to finger press that and just line them up and again i'm lining up those that end i'm not concerned about the other end and then I've got one more top tip for when you're ironing them as well. I love my top tips, Joe. You know me, I do like it. We need a little top tip sound effect machine, don't I we? Do, yeah. I think if anyone can make that happen, it's Adam. What do you think about that idea, Adam? <laughs> right. Maybe. It wasn't very infused, though, Bernie. It was like, uh, maybe. So when you, when you first sew it together, you, you're going to look at it and think, oh, well, that doesn't look like that's going to press flat. But once you've got it pressed, it will go into place. And what you'll find is if you've been a little bit out on your quarter inch seams, all you can need to do is go back in and just re-sew a couple of them if you've gone a little bit um, awry. Um, because that's the, the only downside with patchwork is the accuracy. But like I say, because we're giving you the dies and the cutters to give you that accuracy then obviously you just need to um practice on your seam allowance and can you see that i'm pressing all of the seams the same way i'm going round and pressing them all the same way and what you'll find is that'll help it sit awesome help they're it almost sit like a, a uh, they remind me of a what is the thing that you win if you're you know win a horsey competition a rosette thank a you rosette. that's what there i was uh, thinking of so yeah, I've got one of my seams is a little bit skew with there and I can see it because I've gone really thin on that pink. Okay. So all I would do is just go in and just alter that a little bit. Um, and just it press looks it. beautiful. I mean, you, something you could really play around with colour wise. Oh, definitely. These. Great way to use up scraps as well, maybe, Bernie. Oh, exactly. Because you haven't used a lot. I mean, I've used, um, I mean, if I get that strip there and I open it up, that's only a little thing. This would be, I mean, if you've got um, fabric strip rolls, you can cut the um, smaller ones out of the fabric strip rolls. That's wider than that. But if you had it narrower, you could cut the smaller ones out. So it doesn't take a lot of fabric. Out of a half metre of fabric, say, you're going to be able to cut a lot. Awesome. A lot of it. Uh, Rosalind wants to know where my horn has gone. Uh, did they leave it in the old studio? I, I, it was taken off from me before we left uh, the old studio, I'm afraid. It got put in the bin is it still over there adam it's been melted down and put <laughs> where into the beams of the new studio ah. so my horn is all around us forever <laughs> and more to f it's yeah you know, it's here with us in the studio apparently so there we are joe there we go so that's the dresden plate it's, it's one of my favorite traditional ones because you can go from that traditional one going up to that runner that we looked at that was so abstract it was totally different and then just lastly also as well i've got this quilt here 
Oh, I'm wafting my bits everywhere. Oh, careful now, wafting your bits. This one here, <laughs> I knew I'd set them off with that one. <laughs> this one here, can you see? This one's got a round top on it, Joe. So all that's happened there is, once we've cut now, hang on, let me pick one of my bits up. There we go. I've brought some gone into the bin. So what's happened is we've cut the Dresden blade. Awesome. As normal. And then all we've done is left it. I'll put it that way. I'll do it on that way. Line the curved up, curved corner on there. And what you see is these two little lines here go either side of your blade. And when you cut that, you think, I'm going to do it, Joe. I'm going to do it. Because I've it. got you the 28 mil. She's doing it. I? She's really doing I'm it. I'm doing it. I'm pretending I can't hear anyone in me ear. <laughs> there we go. Your, there name's we go. In, your name's in lights. You can do what you want. <laughs> so, because we, we cut this on the fold, I've still got that crease. So, I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'm going to use the tip of the um, quarter circle there. Put the tip on the fold. Line the two little lines up here. So they meet the side of my blade and then miraculously that top always fits as well. We know it's perfect. I'm then going to get the 28, this is why that 28 mil is perfect. Go around that curve like that. And now we've got that curved edge. Brilliant. So you've got a totally different shape then as well. I mean, flowers with these, you know, anything that you want to... Um, a windmill, Joe. You could make a windmill, couldn't you? Could. That could be the blades of the windmill. That would be perfect. Yeah, oh, I mean, my imagination's going wild now. So, yeah, so that's definitely one of my favourites, like I say, because you've got that traditional side and then you can just move it up to that to bring it modern and up to date as you want it to be. Um, and, it, again, you can cut with any fabric. Excellent. Uh, I absolutely uh, love it. And I think definitely, uh, I know Bernie would agree, something that anyone... Uh, can do it really is uh, quite a straightforward block it doesn't have to be a quilt don't forget that you know you can start small it could be uh, you could make a cushion cover maybe then you're going to do a table running you're going to build up to a quilt so uh, go at your own pace 31.98 or 39.92 is your price there on those I want to run you through the saver stitch deals that we've got for you on the show uh, the great thing is not only some of these are actually st saver stitch versus uh, freebie frenzy this is by far and away your most popular uh, item in saver stitch and I I cannot believe when I say this, it's over 40% off uh, for everyone. However, platinum members in the UK, £31 and change today, saving you th over £38. $40 and change for platinum members in the US, saving you over $49. So you're saving more than you're spending. Build a block means that you can do awesome blocks. So it's the dies that are going to do all the work for you. We're going to see this demonstrated uh, in just a moment. But before we do, let me share some other of the Save a Stitch deals. This is brilliant. It's a buy three, get one free. So it's a Save a Stitch versus Freebie Frenzy, which is lovely. $23.97 or $29.85. No longer will you be left with scraps of zips or, you know, not have um, the right length zip for whatever you need. It's on a roll. Uh, it's brilliant. You guys absolutely wax lyrical about those. I want to share some of the Riley Blake fabrics with you. Those of you that have had Riley Blake fabric will know how incredible the quality is on these. Uh, 6.39 or 4.39. I've got only a few options left here though. Got the chicken's teal. Uh, we've also uh, got sprinkles pink for you as well, which is that one there. And we've also got the Roses Cream, uh, which is beautiful. They are the three options that we have left for you at the moment. I'm going to read a few comments because I've got some lovely ones. Oh, oh, hang on, hold up. One more to show you. I couldn't forget this one. Uh, this is the Bloom Builder die with eight elements and the stabiliser. If you want a demonstration on the stabiliser, go back to last week's Softer Side show because uh, De Bernie demonstrated the stabiliser for you. So you'll be able to go and see all the things you can do there with that. Brilliant to use in conjunction with your dies. Uh, right, we're going to come back. I was jumping the gun there, wasn't I? Uh, Rosalind says, um, that's all I need. It. And another reason to buy my mini hammer 
Rosalind's after a mini hammer. Uh, Judy says, my great teacher is looking very glam today. Not that she's anything else. Demo is canny too. Uh, looking forward to our first class in ages tomorrow. Angela was loving uh, that <coughs> yellow and black quilt. Uh, Pam, PPE Pam says, hi, Bernie and Joe. Need to get my sewing machines back out and the wonderful mitre tool. I made two quilts last year when I bought the tool. I had never made a quilt before. So I made a pepper pig one for my grandson and a Peter rabbit for my baby granddaughter. Granddaughter is now one and a half years old and is loving Peppa Pig. Saw Big Brother Joe's last week, really wanted it. He wasn't letting it go. So now she needs to make another quilt. You can send us some pictures in, Pam. I think you might have shown us some before, but I'd love to see them again. Anyone want to send any pictures in of anything that they have been creating? You can always do that. We love seeing your creations. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send those into. Um, Michelle says the cutting mat is great. Georgianne is loving your top. Uh, and Faye says, I love a Dresden plate quilt. I have one, my grandmother, piece by hand, and did all the quilting too. Keep your comments coming in. If you want to get in touch with us, if you've got any question, uh, you can do so on Crafters TV over on Facebook, Crafters Companion, of course, on YouTube. But uh, it's all about the pineapple next. It is, Joe. Look, I love the pineapple. This is, but pineapple is in our builder block range. Just want to show you this absolutely colourful quilt that we have permanently hanging up behind us. We have a, a variety of them hanging up behind us all the time. And these are our favourite ones. So this is great, just so you can see it in all its glory with the colours. But I've got some more on the counter that I'm going to show you. Let me just... I've moved everything out the way. Here's it in a cushion. So again, like you're saying, Joe, it doesn't have to be a quilt. You can start off small. So I've got the, the pineapple here in the cushion. And look at this, a little dinky one. It's a little table runner. Beautiful. How cute is that? And totally different colours, so it looks totally different, doesn't it, when you're using different fabrics and different colours. And I've got the big quilt there. I won't hold that big quilt up, but I'll pop these aside and show you what... Um, if anyone hasn't used our builder block before, um, what it is, it's, it's a set for you to make blocks in certain sizes, which I'm going to give you when I get this out of here. So I think it's 6, 8, 9 and 12... I shall double check. But you're getting it in this storage, lovely storage case. So everything's in here. Oh, look, I've failed miserably and not put one back in its little slot. Oh, dear. There we go. It has little lips here. So they sit in and they're not going to fall out. So everything's in its place. That's a lot of dies. There's a lot price, of dies there. It? Because you're getting, you, because you're doing those different sizes, 6, 8 and 12 is the three sizes that you can get. Brilliant. Um, but sometimes you might just want to make something with a big triangle. So you can just use this triangle. It's a half square triangle. Perfect. So you can just use it as a, as a half square triangle. Or that one, the quarter square triangles, the quarter square triangle, or squares. You just might want a square for something. They go, where have I got a square? Oh, yeah, I've got the builder block. Uh, there's a square in there. I'll get the squares out and cut everything with those squares. So you, you're getting all of this. So you don't need to worry about the measurements because we've done all that for you. It's telling you on here which ones you need. And then you get the booklet and in the booklet, it's giving you the round. Now, again, this is a traditional um, quilt block. So I don't know how many years this one goes back. It goes back a long, long time. So is this something, this Builder Block Pines, is this something you'd use in addition to the original Builder Block system? Or is this something that you would have instead of the original Builder Block burning? So both. So this okay. can be a standalone. So you can use this as a standalone one. And then you say you've got those squares and triangles to use in other projects as well. But if you've got our original Builder Block or the Builder Block Plus, any of our Builder Block ranges make up to those 12 inch blocks. So you can mix and match them. Perfect. So on a quilt, like the one we looked at behind was all pineapple on all of the blocks. You could have a block which is plain, just, just plain 12 inch square of fabric and then a pineapple and then another plain one. Or you could have a Drunkard's Path one put in there or you can have one of our Builder Block Plus designs in there as well, make a sampler quilt. So you can, you can work with them together or work with them all separately. And that's the great thing about them. So you're not, you don't have to have one to do the other. You, you can mix and match them. And we're going to give you step-by-step -step guides of how you put the pieces together in a lovely diagram here for you to go through. But what's better than a diagram, Joe? 
actually doing it. So I'm mm. going to do this for you. Awesome. So let's and have a look. Full videos again. Full videos support, you know, the, and there's, uh, there's going to be lots of shows that are featured these. You're going to be able to come back. Remember, you can watch back all of our shows here on Crafter TV anytime you like, either where you're watching right now, if that's Facebook or YouTube, or across on our website. Uh, the thing about YouTube that's uh, watching there is quite nice is that they're arranged into playlists as well. So if you want to go and find all the softer side of life shows for our Needlecraft, or maybe you want to go uh, and find all the colouring shows, then you can go and have a look at Colour Me Happy. So they're all sorted and organised for you, which is really handy. And maybe sometimes, you know, Bernie, uh, maybe you just need a bit of inspiration. They're great just to watch back as a little sort of mojo, mojo starter, aren't they? Definitely, I sit and watch videos back all the time because, and also as well, I think because of the fun factor, like I'll watch, as you know, I'll watch a lot of our shows, you know, I do my softer side, but then I like watching our other shows as well because I love, even though I'm not a paper crafter yet. I still keep doing bits. I've still got yet. my decoupage is it, is to it, do. Is it going to be, a, is it going to be well, happening? Well, I would like to try some more, but it's just having the time because I just love sewing. But you get all of those ideas and obviously watching all the team who are absolutely fantastic, they're always coming up with ideas and something new that you haven't thought of, of which I've got another use for my quilting clips, quilting me, uh, clipping my book together there because it was flopping open. So you can use it to clip, clip things together. Brilliant. So Rachel, I'm going to start putting this together. So I'm going to show you here, I'm going to follow the diagram. And we can see there we've got the centre square and we've got those two triangles. Now, it's important to put them on opposite, like that, because what that's going to do is help your seams sit better when you put them on the sides. So you're going to put the two side ones on and then you're going to pop your other two side ones. Now, we can see we've got a little bit trimmed off the triangle. That gets rid of the dog ears and also helps line it up. So when you put your piece on, you see it lines up perfectly so you don't have to think about where you're going to stop and start so once you've sewn those together it's going to look like this there we go and that's a design in itself that's called a square in a square beautiful so you could use them dies make that pattern and put that pattern all over you know you can print onto paper photos yes you could print onto the paper die cut that for the square and then put your fabric around and you could make like a memory quilt can you print on can you I bet you can order printed fabric can't you you With can pictures and stuff yes on it. yes I don't know how what sort of price you'd be looking at but you Ooh. can buy the paper to print but then obviously you need to make sure you've got the right um printer as well to be able lovely to do but you can tone. order it yeah lovely color combo this Bernie it's good isn't it mm. it's quite nice nice stand out so then again I'm following my diagram and I'm putting on my next two pieces. And in the booklet, it, it refers to it as rounds. So that's a round, this is a round, another round, another round, round. And you're going all the way around. So you're going to sew them two on, and then you're going to put your other two opposite ones on and sew them two on. And then once you've done that, you're going to have a new design like that. Excellent. And then we're going to go to the next round. So you can see, I'm basically repeating I'm just repeating myself all the way around. You're just going to keep going and keep going and work all the way around till you get the, the next sort of square-ish. If you hadn't done any patchwork before, would this be a good one to start with? Oh, this think, is Bernie? perfect. Right, we've okay. got, now, there was, um, there's a lady, I'm not sure if we've got the photos in the gallery to show, um, Juliet Johnson um, tagged me in a, a oh, picture. we've got a picture right here. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, Julie, I put that in. I was sewing with Crafters Companion Group and she's absolutely addicted. She's gone on and made another three oh, blocks. Look how uh, awesome they are. They, there we go. Look at that. How accurate. They are, they're stunning, Juliet. If you're watching, they are stunning. Really gorgeous. Absolutely. And that colour choice as well, having that white as the background, making all those colours pop. It's just fantastic. And I say, so all you're going to do is just keep going round and round and round. Let me get my next pieces. And then we're going to go... Are we pink next? Or... Now, I can't remember which colour I am next. So, if, I, if you're not sure, you're going to go to your book. Now, my grey is the purple in the book. There we go. So, it's purple, so it's grey. So, again, that's where the book will help you that you can go around. But again, you're going to put opposites on and your opposites on. And then once you've stitched them on, then you're going to go around with them out the way, these ones. And they just 
fit absolutely perfectly all the way around. I love it. I really do. I think it's actually quite a, it's quite a, mo I know it's a traditional quilting block, but it definitely has a modern feel to it, doesn't it? This it one. It does. And I yeah. think depending on the colour tones of your house, I mean, I, I would love uh, something like this uh, in, uh, in my home. I think they are absolutely awesome. And we go. So that one there's a laid out. Watch, watch this, Joe. We need to do some like Instagram reels or something. I'm don't doing we? my own you know, sound effects. You Adam's not helping. And then moves. <laughs> Adam's not helping with sound effects. We just do our own. Yeah, job. we do our own. And I then it's a bit magic. Well. There we go. We stitch them all together, and all it is is it's straight rows of stitching. If I turn the back over, top tip from me always pressed to the outside, and you can see. I mean, you can't. I know it's not feel a vision telly but you can feel how flat that is so when you do start layering it up and you start doing your quilting on it you know you've got no like um big thick lumps there to go over that's probably the thickest you're going to get there and then the rest of it is beautiful so yeah so that's your pineapple beautiful it is uh one of the most popular items in the show i am not surprised you say 30 pounds or 38 dollars and then you can use your club inspired discount which all of you are getting some degree on top of that as well very very busy there at the moment we're gonna go to zips on a roll i feel like zips on a roll needs a song you know is there a song for zips on a roll do you know something i heard yesterday that i found out about there is a song about Vimto. I'll play it for you between shows, Johnny. Uh, I'll post it on my social media as well. There's a whole song about Vimto. So it's, it's like a fruit drink here in the UK. Zips on a roll are incredible. 5.47 yards you've got on here and you get all your sliders as well. So it means that rather than going out and buying specific size zips, you just pop this to whatever size you want it, which is absolutely incredible. So it's five meters in total. You're gonna get the red one, which I don't have a sample of. You're also going to get the mint, which is that one there, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, you're gonna get the blue, which is that one just there. And you're gonna get the, not any old pink. Oh no, the soft pink, uh, which is gorgeous. All four of them, it is a, it is the same as my uh, shirt almost, isn't it? Um, all four of them for the first price of three. So it's save a stitch. Don't know why I've decided to hold it up like it's now next. It's still in the box. Uh, <laughs> save a stitch and also freebie frenzy. Don't forget to go and check out the whole freebie frenzy element uh, on the website. Are we going to? Well, we do need to. We need, but we need to do a demo of the show because you've done two full demos, Bernie. You've got the, you've got your quilt, you've got your bag, haven't you? I've got, well, I've got me, um... Your bag and your block. And my dress and plate block. Your bag, your block, and And then I'm going to make this pouch, so I don't know if that can go in early, Have you it? got a finished one of it? This is a finished one Brilliant. here, yeah? Yeah, and I'm going to make it in, like, about five minutes. Excellent, so They're do quick. you want... What about your pineapple block, though? Uh, do, you, do you want to put... I know, but I didn't stitch that, Joe. Oh, okay. Shall I put? Oh, shall I put the dress and plate right, on it? Right. One in? for the bag, two the for rosette. the rosette, three for the pouch. So awesome. Go, one, go now. Two. Excellent. Three. Crafters TV <laughs> over on Facebook. Crafters Companion uh, as well. Uh, you decide. The power is yours. You've got. Mm, you've got about five minutes to vote. So uh, get a wiggle on, won't you? Uh, right, Bernie. What's next? So five minutes for me to make this No, in no, the bag. You, you've got longer than that. People have got five minutes to vote at home. Yeah, but I'm going to make this in five minutes. Oh, it's wow. Quick. Yeah, it's that quick. Right, so zips on a roll. I absolutely love these. I use them all the time. I rarely use any other zipper because you've got so many colours to choose from. And obviously the Sabre Stitch Day is fantastic. You're getting four different ones in there. You've got 10 metres, uh, sorry, five metres on here, but you're getting 10 of the sliders. So essentially, you can make 10 half a metre zips if you want them. You rarely use that length of zip though, but sometimes you might want a really long zip or you might just need a, a short one, depending on the project that you're doing. So I'm going to make this simple little bag with the pink sprinkle. I don't know if we've got any left. Um, but I'm using Hand the full pink, of the pink sprinkle. sprinkle. This has been my favourite. I mean, look at look how well it goes with that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Zip. It, it does go with your shirt. It actually doesn't go too we bad pretty, with my top. We're as pretty matchy matchy today, aren't we? Wardrobe were on it this week. We they, they were, were definitely on it. Yeah, wardrobe were on it. <laughs> All that right. whole department has smashed it out of the park this week. <laughs> So work, what I've guys. done is I haven't measured this jaw. I just cut a rectangle of fabric. 
by eye. Just, just by eye. I used my ruler, but just I didn't measure it. So I just got a rectangle. And then what I'm going to do is if I just put it into place as if when it's going to be finished, we can see here that that's how it's going to end up with the zip in there to make the little zip pouch. Now, Leanne loves making these. Leanne makes these to put when she's travelling, or when she can start travelling again, to put her toiletries in, uh, laundry in, or clean, clean clothes, then bring your laundry back in them. Um, the thing is, where do, you put your, where do you put your dirty, you know, your dirty bits and bobs when you're on holiday? In your pouch, what you're going to make. In your pouch, that's it. Yeah. You don't want to put your dirty, you don't want to put your dirty um, clothes back with your clean clothes, do you? No. Some to are keep clean, some separate. are dirty. Yeah, yeah keep, keep them separate. separate. So, I've cut a zip longer. Now, I like to cut these longer. One, because you've got plenty to play with. And two, it makes it easy when you're putting your zip in. Because when you're putting your zip in, the worst thing what puts people off, I think, of putting zips is they've got to get the needle past this and it can jam under your foot okay. and people get put off. So if you've got a longer zip, you can move that slider out of the way that you don't have to worry about it. So I've got my zipper foot on my machine and then I'm putting right side of zip to right side of fabric. I'll have a little bit extra at the end there and I'm just going to quickly whiz along there, Joe. Excellent. Uh, well, it's very close. Well, it's not very close. Uh, there's one clear winner in the vote <laughs> show. If you still want to get your votes in, please, please do. Uh, I've got an excellent day coming up today as well. Uh, I am going to, it's a double Debbie Robinson day after this, which is awesome. A fantastic craft class will be coming up for you uh, at 3 p.m. in the UK, 10 a.m. East Coast. Uh, all about decoupage, which is something I know you guys oh. love. Uh, and then also Second Chance Sunday, a little, less, a little later, 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, which is awesome. It's going to be a lovely Sunday. It is. So what I've done there is I've just finger pressed that back. You can press it with an iron if you want. And I'm going to do a bit more of that top stitching. So again, the longer stitch. Now, when you're doing top stitching next to a zip, oh, I need to turn it the other way. There's, um, for one, it's making it look, giving it that extra pizzazz. But two, it's holding down the fabric away from the zip. So if ever you've bought, have you ever bought any clothes, Joe, and put them on and the zip's got caught in the fabric? Always. It's a nightmare. So probably it hasn't been top stitched down. Right, OK. So that's the um, thing. If, you, if you've got the top stitching on there, it's holding it away so it's never going to get caught. It's really annoying, isn't it, when it, it, uh, is, when it yeah. gets caught in there? So I've top stitched along that side and then I'm going to bring... Oh, right sides together again. So pop it back that way. Bring your right sides together with the zip again on the other side. And I'm going to stitch quickly down there. Oh, my fabric just folded over there. Let me just get that. It's not the end of the world, is it? Because you can always unpick. Don't ever worry when you're making something. If it goes a little bit skew with, you can always unpick it. Okay. You know, um, Measure twice, cut once, I would definitely go by. I still do it sometimes now and cut it wrong. It happens. Um, but I say try not, to, try not to worry about it. I've got cotton ends everywhere. See, my, my machine at home, I, it's like I'm lazy, so it cuts the threads for me. Does it? Yeah, I'm lazy. So, Have there you we found go. another table yet, Bernie? Because I know you missed out oh, on that. Oh, yes. happy about it. Joe, oh, I found a free one. <laughs> a free one. So it's not exactly. It's not exactly what I want. It's a, a little computer desk. Yeah. That um, a lady was giving away for free. It had a few marks on it. It's purple, which is even funnier. Nice. It's purple. And um, I just need to cut. So I'm going to get the jigsaw out next week, and I'm going to be cutting a hole in the top of me me new uh, table. But it was free. Doing your own DIY, Bernie. You need to come around to my house. <laughs> I can't even get a picture rail up. Well, it was Honestly. free and, and it was only an ear cliff. Oh, well, perfect. Oh, I've just jammed my thread jaw. Oh, See, I'm showing off, like. trying to be quick. Hang on, let me just sort this out. Uh, let me, shall I just remind you then of the Saver Stitch deals that we've got? I'll remind you, I'll share some pictures of them with you because they are very, very busy. Um, and uh, the great thing is it's where you find the deepest soft craft discount of the week. Let's start off with the uh, Pineapple Builder Block first then, uh, which is fantastic. You can get that today. You save more than you spend as a Club Inspired Platinum member, which is wonderful. $39.99 or $50.99 if you want to get your hands on that one just there. Zips on a roll is what we also have 
uh, for you, uh, which are these ones just here. Very, very busy on those. You buy three, we send you four. So it's a, uh, it's a save a stitch mash up with a freebie frenzy, which is awesome. Do grab those. And then we've got those Riley Blake. We've got your chickens teal. Uh, 639 or 439 if you want to go for those ones. They're much, uh, they're actually uh, a better deal in the US. We don't see that very often. Uh, the sprinkles pink. Uh, you've also got your cream roses in there as well, which are brilliant. And we've got the Bloom Builder die with the eight elements and the stabilizer. If you want to see a full demonstration on the stabilizer, you can go back uh, to last week's show as well, which is fantastic because Demi. Uh, oh, I've done it again. Oh, that was that was a that was a that was a Demi. That was Demi. It was, it was Demi. Demi. Bernie, I can only apologise. It's all right. What am I like? See, if Debbie, Debbie's outside. She'll be listening to you. She, I can you, see. She knows you're going Debbie, to be calling the Bernie see, later. I can see Debbie out of this eye. Uh, I can see Bernie out of this side, and I ended up coming up with Demi. Demi. There's not a Demi that works here. <laughs> I am sorry. It's a Sunday. I'm giddy. It's my first day in. Um, I can tell you uh, that the creation of the show is numero uno, number one. Yay, uh, that bag, the bag. Bernie. It deserves Everyone to win, it? it? love that one. It deserves to win. Right, I got my thread and sorted out, Joe, and all I've done there is folded it um, sort of inside out, so right sides together, and I've just dropped that zip down just a couple of inches. Okay. Now, this is the easiest way for anyone to learn to put a zip in. Because if you're making a little zipper pouch, what can happen is it can get, when you turn it through, you might get it a little bit um, wonky on the end and be a bit disheartened by it. Right. With this one, you've got none of that to worry about okay. because the zip is actually sitting flat. Right. So I'm just going to line that up and stitch it down. Now, you can zigzag the ends of this to neaten them up, because obviously you've got raw edges inside, but you don't want it really heavyweight. I use these for projects, you know, put projects in, to keep my projects in at home. Um, you can overlock them if you've got an overlocker as well. Perfect Brilliant. to get your overlocker dusted off and used. Um, what have you got, do you know what we've got coming up on next week's show, Bernie? Have you Ooh. been... Have you been Oh, am I allowed ready? to? We've got a new launch. Do you, oh, what is it? Can, can you tell me? <laughs> Johnny's upset now. Johnny's upset now. I, I don't oh, no, I'm not here either. You're not here neither. It's me and Becky. <sighs> yeah, I've got a new launch. So oh, I don't know how much I can say, Joe. All I can say is if you liked our shape creator, if you like the shape creator, you might want to watch next week. Oh, there you go. That's Teasing all I can us. say. I bet I'm in trouble now. You were saying I can say anything on my show, Joe, didn't you? So. <laughs> I but said you can say what you want. Yeah. Yeah, no, you said I could say anything no, on my show. I think you, say, you can say what you want to say is different to Joe saying you can say anything. I'm sorry. There we go. So we've made that in minus the gabbing that I was doing and my little thread, uh, my th little thread catcher. Beautiful. In the machine, there we go. So, give it a little press, and then you've got that to put, um, like I say, your projects in, you, you, well, anything, your pencils in, you yeah. could keep them, anything like that, any of your craft items. You could have your new, do you know what would be good, Joe? If you bought, like, say you got the other week, you bought some Valweb um, new blender fabric, the fat quarter pack, you could make one of these out of a fat quarter and then put the other fat quarters inside nice. and have them all colour coded on your shelf. Brilliant, brilliant idea. Absolutely uh, love that idea. Uh, it's been fantastic, this show at Burning, hasn't it? I really enjoyed it. It's eased me into uh, my working week beautifully. Uh, so a pleasure uh, as always. Don't forget, everything is there that you've seen over on the website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com. Uh, dot eu uh, you can of course hit that uh, shop the show button there as well uh, very 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 last call uh, for your uh, the uh, screw punch uh, it's hanging on by a thread there um, do check that out if it is in your basket see what I did there buy a thread lols uh, 1990 uh, if you just need the punch all the individual elements are available individually uh, but also, Bernie's got a hammer out as well. Uh, if you had a hammer, would you hammer in the morning, Bernie? Well, this is it ready for when I get my jigsaw tomorrow. Right. And I start doing that table. 
Brilliant. So I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Absolutely ready to go. Bernie, it's been a massive pleasure as always. We will see you. Well, I won't see you now, actually, for probably five, four or five weeks, you know. Wow, Because really? I'll have no Sundays now for ages. I'll be oh. in midweek, so... Um, Sunday I'll pop in through the week to see you, Joe. I'll check Four if I'm bringing Pippa in. I'll check you're going to be in first. Please, so I don't do. want to miss you like last time again to trouble. No, I'd love some Pippa cuddles. That would be absolutely wonderful. We'll see Bernie again next week, which is fantastic. As I said, there's a brilliant double Debbie day coming your way. Uh, there's a craft class coming up at 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. East Coast, 7 a.m. on the West Coast. And then a little later, Second Chance Sunday, your second chance to see some of the best deals of the last couple of weeks at 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, 11 a.m. West Coast, which is brilliant. Don't forget to check out your baskets. I'll see you back here in 90 minutes. Take care.